Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If the task that you are creating is one that you repeat at regular intervals, you can set the recurrence as you create the task. That way, when you have completed the task, it will automatically regenerate itself for the next date so that you do not have to worry about rescheduling the task every time that you need to do it. Once it has been marked as completed within your tasks folder, the next occurrence of the task that you will need to accomplish will then insert itself into your task list. To set task recurrence, click the recurrence button that appears in the recurrence button group called the options button group in 2007 of the task tab within the ribbon of the task window to open the recurrence dialog box. Here you can set the recurrence pattern for the task. In the recurrence pattern section, select the pattern of recurrence. This could be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. In the area to the right of those option buttons, you will then need to specify the pattern for the selected recurrence. In the range of recurrence section, set the start date of the recurrence pattern and then select when you want the recurrence pattern to end, if ever. When you are finished scheduling the recurrence of the task, click the OK button. Then click Save and Close. Now after you have completed an instance of a recurring task, you can delete it from your task list. However, sometimes there will be a recurring task that will no longer occur in the future. In this case, you will want to delete all of the future instances of that task. To delete a recurring task, you will need to open your task list and select the occurrence of the recurring task that you want to delete. Press the Delete or Del key on your keyboard and you will see a pop-up message appear with two options, Delete All or Delete This One. Select the option to delete this one to delete just the selected occurrence of the task or choose the delete all option to delete the selected one and all future occurrences of the task. Then simply click the OK button when you're done. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.